Hello everyone, this is a brief history of trams in Korea, taken from Kojek's presentation, which we did at the Korean branch of the Royal Asiatic Society. The tram was the first mode of transport uh, in Seoul, and it arrived just a couple of years after the first bicycle. So, after a hundred years as a walking city, Seoul suddenly became a paratransit city at a very early stage compared to other places. Uh, now, the first trams opened for operations in Jongno on May 17th, 1899. And so this was a huge thing for the Korean Empire, not only because it was the first type of public transport, but it was also a really important stepping stone towards modernization. Now, the idea for the tram system in Seoul didn't come locally, but actually came from these two American businessmen, Henry Colbran and Harry Bostwick. Now, Colbran and Bostwick, they convinced Emperor Gojong of the benefits of such a tram system and what it could bring to the city. And so they actually ended up getting into a joint venture with uh, the Seoul Electric Company, also known as the Hansong Jonggi uh, And today that's actually known as KEPCO, a huge government uh, corporation. So while electricity had already been introduced to Seoul, uh, it was quite scarce and so these two guys, they were tasked with uh, spreading more electricity around Seoul, uh, mainly in the form of street lighting. Now the original tram system had eight 40 passenger trams plus one private vehicle for the emperor too, he had his own one. It was the second tram service to open in all of Asia, the first one being located in Kyoto in Japan. There was a lot of excitement from the general public when the trams launched uh, and people came from all over Korea just to ride them, some people spending the entire day on them. Uh, so you can see here that it opened in 1899. However, the happy atmosphere was marred by what's known as Korea's first traffic accident when a five-year-old child was struck and killed uh, by the tram. And this was a huge shock to the public who had they had never witnessed you know, such an accident uh, from a, a big vehicle like a tram and the crowd basically went into a frenzy. Now this included the child's father who was wielding an axe and who went after the conductor of the tram. The conductor managed to escape, but the tram uh, was burnt to a crisp. And so here we can see the scene of the accident, which happened on the 26th of May, 1899. There were also other accidents, like this car getting crushed in between two trams. Here are some more images of the trams in Seoul. These images aren't in chronological order. See this one down the bottom here? This is one of the earliest trams. Uh, up here we have trams that are from a little bit later on. Now these trams went to most important places around Seoul and places that you've probably heard of if you've ever been to Seoul. So they went to Seoul Station, Oryangjin, Itaewon, Dongdaemun, Wangshinli. The tram network was very extensive uh, and this is a map from 1936. Now Seoul wasn't the only place with trams. Busan also had trams from 1915 to 1968, uh, as well as Pyongyang, uh, which is of course North Korea now. Back then it was still one country and they had trams from 1923 to 1950. Now trams did make a return to Pyongyang in 1991 and still run today, alongside the infamous trolley buses that have been in the city since 1962. Now, going back to Seoul, after the war ended, trams actually continued to operate despite infrastructure damage, and they still had strong patronage as well in the 1960s, with about 350,000 passengers and 197 services per day, uh, that's in 1966. However, despite this popularity, uh, there was very little expansion of the network, and ultimately the infrastructure and the vehicles had begun to age. Here's a picture of a tram from 1963. Uh, finally, in 1968, the trams went out of service 
and until 1974 when the first subway line opened, buses were the only form of public transport in Seoul. Finally, if you're keen to check out one of the old trams, uh, you can go and see one at the Seoul Museum of History. It's right outside the front. There's no fee. You can uh, go and look at it. I think you can step inside it as well. Uh, and as far as I know, there's only two of these trams which are being looked after by the city. This tram here uh, on display is from the 1930s. Thanks for listening and please check out kojix.com uh, for more information on transport around Korea.